Games World of Puzzles is a puzzle magazine formed from the merge of Games and World of Puzzles in October 2014. The entire magazine interior is now newsprint as opposed to the part glossy, part newsprint format of the original games and the puzzles and articles that originally sandwiched the pencilwise section are now themselves sandwiched by the main puzzle pages, replacing the feature puzzle section. They are still full color, unlike the two color pencilwise sections, like the original World of Puzzles, which is now discontinued. The answer key is now at the rear of the magazine. The new combined title will remain on the same nine issue per year publication schedule as the original games. Topic: <laughs> Games. Games Magazine ISSN was a magazine devoted to games and puzzles and is published by Games Publications, a division of Kappa Publishing Group. Topic history It was originally published by Playboy debuting with the September-October 1977 issue, then in 1987 was acquired by PSC Limited Partnership for three years and then was briefly out of business in 1990 and 1991 after the PSC owners filed for bankruptcy. The magazine was bought and brought back to life in 1991 by the mailorder company Bits and Pieces based in Manhattan. Kappa Publishing Group acquired it in 1996 and moved the game's office to Kappa's headquarters in Pennsylvania. The magazine is published nine times a year monthly, except for March, July, and November. <laughs> <laughs> Style Throughout its publishing history, Games has differentiated itself from other puzzle magazines by its creative covers that are themselves puzzles, color sections containing feature articles and games, and a large variety of puzzle types, with wit and humor used throughout. Each issue contains a feature article and puzzles in its introductory color section, pencilwise, board and video game reviews in its closing color section, and wild cards. Content All puzzles in the magazine are ranked by difficulty, a one-star one puzzle is an «easy hike», two stars is an «uphill climb», three stars means «proceed at your own risk». Some puzzles are ranked as a «mixed bag», denoted by one filled and one unfilled star, meaning that some may find the puzzle very easy while others will be challenged, that the puzzle may have a range of difficulty with it, or that like many logic puzzles, it may easily be solved by exhaustive trial and error but requires thinking to solve in a deductive way. <laughs> Major article Each issue typically has a three- to six-page article about gaming and hobbies as a broad subject. <laughs> Color sections Common puzzles in the color sections including the magazine cover include Eyeball benders which require identification of common objects based on photos taken from odd angles. Identification of objects in picture collages of items that share a common theme. Photo mysteries which require the reader to use photos and text to solve a mystery. Call our bluff, where several small anecdotes of historical fact are mixed in with made-up stories of the same style, and the reader is challenged to determine the fake stories from the real ones. The April 2000 issue had a "'Call our bluff' article in which, as an April Fool's Day joke, the anecdotes were all true in spite of the fact that many of them were very hard to believe. Picture tic-tac-toe which requires the reader to determine a common theme for each row, column, and diagonal of a 3x3 matrix of pictures. Trivia quizzes with both text and pictures as clues. Identification of cities or countries from either postcards with identifying words stripped from each one or from sections of road maps. These have also commonly been used for contests in the magazine. Recent issues have included a multi part puzzle over several pages, where the solution of each sub puzzle is used to complete the overall puzzle. Recent versions of these have been based on traveling to various locations in the world, though this aspect is only used for the theme of each sub puzzle. <laughs> Pencilwise 
Pencilwise is a newsprint pencil puzzle section which forms the core of the magazine and contains common puzzle varieties such as crosswords 1, 2, and 3 star difficulty levels, some with clues printed in the grid itself cryptic crosswords word searches cryptograms a double crostic acrostic, which uses the answers to clues to assemble a quotation math and logic puzzles Unique puzzle types such as crossword variations Visual logic puzzles like ''Paint by Numbers'' and ''Battleships'' Cartoon rebuses Variety of other wordplay and visual puzzles The last puzzle in each ''Pencilwise'' section is always ''The World's Most Ornery Crossword'' a large standard crossword puzzle which has two sets of clues spanning three pages. One set, which is revealed by folding one page in half to hide the second page, consists of hard clues, three stars, while the clues under this fold are easy, one star. The answers to both sets of clues are the same. Recent years have seen two pages of kid stuff puzzles aimed at pre teen children, as well as a collection of assorted puzzles under the title Motley Stew. Another feature of Pencilwise in recent years has been a Puzzle Craft column, authored by Mike Selinker and Thomas Snyder, that describes how readers can make their own puzzles, placed alongside puzzles created by the described techniques. Topic: <laughs> Wild Cards. Wild Cards is the final section, which typically contains one or two pages of puzzle miscellany, such as word games, trivia, or chess problems. Topic: December issue. The December issue each year includes a compilation of new and noteworthy games in its Games 100 list, similar to the German Spiel des Jahres, and usually includes a contest based on this list. More recent years have also included a separate electronic Games 100, focusing on video games for computer, console, and portable systems. Notable game titles also are introduced into a Games Hall of Fame, updated each year along with the Games 100 list. Contests Most issues used to feature a puzzle-solving contest, often with cash prizes, though this was no longer a regular feature of the magazine by 2010. In the past, the magazine also ran an occasional hidden contest, in which part of the challenge was to find the concealed puzzle with instructions on how to enter e.g., you have found the hidden contest. To enter, send us a chain of paper clips. Until November 2002, readers were also challenged to find the fake advertisement among the legitimate ones the last one was for the red card, a credit card used to pay off credit cards. The standard contest has since been reinstated, with a $100 cash prize for the winner and one-year subscriptions, renewals for five runners-up. Readers who write in with mistakes in a section called laundry or alternate solutions to puzzles in the Eureka section are often rewarded with a games t-shirt. Readers may otherwise obtain a games t-shirt by being a runner-up in a games contest. As part of the Games 100. There is usually a contest to identify selected games featured in that list based on small pictures of the board or playing pieces from the game in a photo montage. Earlier in its publishing history, the letters page would also include an envelope of the month, typically a highly decorated envelope or postcard sent in by a reader in response to a contest or general correspondence with the magazine. The winner of this would receive a games t-shirt. This feature was phased out when the magazine changed publishers and publication schedules. Games has had two rather large contest series in the past that have since been discontinued. The first contest was a scavenger hunt that ran in yearly installments. Items in the hunt were usually not rare but difficult to determine what exactly was needed, requiring some puzzle solving or research, or hard to acquire. Winners were determined based on the most objects collected and fitting the requirements. A second long-running contest was Calculatrivia, where a long equation, of approximately 40 variables, was given, and each variable was associated with a clue that resulted in some numerical value. The clues were usually straightforward to interpret, but the required information would take considerable research effort to identify. 
When all variables were accounted for, the equation was to be worked out, and the final value mailed into games along with a list of the individual values. Special editions Bygone sister publications of games include the Four Star Puzzler 1981 to 1983, Games Special Edition late 1980s minus 1990, Games Premium Puzzles early 1990s, and Pencilwise Extra also early 1990s. Children's magazines put out by games were Games Junior 1987 to 1990 and Zigzag mid 1990s. Games has also published a number of books containing best of Puzzle collections. Topic <inaudible> Editors. Will Short started at Games in November 1978 and edited the magazine from 1989 to 1993. He left when he became the editor of the New York Times crossword puzzle. The current editorial team includes Jennifer Orhowski, with help from Kappa Publishing editor Karen Powell. Graphic designers include Kevin Boone. Former games editor-at-large Thomas L. McDonald handles the review department. <laughs> <laughs> World of Puzzles World of Puzzles ISSN was a puzzle magazine published bimonthly by Games Publications, a division of Kappa Publishing Group. It was a spin-off of Games Magazine focusing solely on pencil puzzles. A centerpiece section contains a feature puzzle or puzzles, such as puzzles from the World Puzzle Championship or the annual Lieutenant Nadumbo Puzzle Mystery. It debuted in 1993 and ran as a separate publication from Games until October 2014. Until the July 2009 issue, it contained a contest in every issue, most often a variety crossword or trivia quiz. See also Cross sums Game of the Year Games 100 <laughs>